Hi there, it's Tanya from Tatter Treasures. Welcome back and hello to any new subscribers. Welcome aboard. It's nice to have you. And hello again to returning subscribers. Thank you for joining me today. So, I am making uh, four sets of ephemera. Um, I'm going to put three in the Etsy shop and I'm going to keep one for... Um, a project for what I'll be doing at some point. <laughs> so I've got these lovely papers from After Midnight Designs. They are called, um, I think they're called Vintage Wallpapers. And you do get six different sheets. Yes, Vintage Wallpapers. So you get six different sheets. So they're all in blues and they're absolutely lovely. And I've backed them with this rusty um, kit that she's got. I think that's five sheets. So I think, I'm guessing it's like a tea stain with, with rust. Um, it's come out really lovely. And I think it goes with those papers very nice. So I'm using those. So I will put Marie's um, link down below. Um, put the link to the, to the kits. So what I've got is a CD envelope, I've just backed it with the paper, I've made a tag, um, a small little envelope pocket, I've got a little Rolodex card, um, a little die cut, what violet scent, which has been tea dyed, I've done some little circles, I've got a little bit of paper there, I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet, that's going to be a journal card. And that's an index card, what I've covered. And then I've got two small index cards here. And I've put a hole in. I have inked everything up. And I have got, <coughs> um, hopefully, everything out that I'm going to need. So I'm just going to do one set on on camera. Um, and then I shall do the other two sets. So I'm not sure if by the time you see this, um, I'll have probably put the sets sets up in in Etsy so I've got these lovely um I forget the names of them I think they're hyacinths and I'm gonna put them in here so I'm gonna glue around here with the art glitter right so I'm just going to get my finger and just get this down a little bit at the side because I, I, <laughs> I don't want it uh, squeezing into my window. Gosh, I don't know what happened then. So, <clears throat> let's make sure this is clean. Which is hard when I've got sticky fingers. Okay. So I'm going to place that down there. So this is acetate. Um, I have got the link in my Amazon favourites link if you want to see uh, <coughs> which one I use. So I'm just going to cut that down like so. And I'm going to put a spot of glue just in the middle just to hold it in place oh i don't know why i did it at the front it doesn't matter because you obviously can see the front and the back and i've got another bit of acetate here somewhere <laughs> and i'll just go around the edge of this one again where it's a bit narrow I'll just smudge it, smudge it down a bit so it doesn't go into the window and lay that down again it's it's too big I, I think it's really quite hard to work with us take with it being so clear <laughs> that's uh tricky so it's not too bad because I've got my light on, so it it shines. I'm 
okay and then I'm gonna glue that onto onto there so again be careful around that bit Shall I go around the edge I need to put my mat on before before it goes too far before I get glue everywhere on my mat Okay, hopefully that will be enough. Put that on top. Got it lined up. And I think that is. I think that's about fine. So that's the first piece done. Very good. Um, I was going to look for something then, and it's totally gone out of my head. Right, let's have a look at these. So I've got these three circles punched out, and this is something that I saw on Crafty Alley Creates, and she joined three circles together. So. I just printed the paper out, backed it on the rust. Oh no, I've backed it on white card. Um, and then I just did them, I think I did them in my two inch punch. So just glue those together. So let's see what we can put on. Uh, so this could be, you know, like a side tuck or you could have it that way as a little belly band. It's not very long, I think it'd be better. Um, I have used this because I, I did it in something else um, this week and I stuck it somewhere and just had it as a little um, side band so we could have something like that on there I do quite like that oh we've got some craft colour ones a bit big but I do like, I like that that's twisted the wrong way anyway um i've got some butterflies cut out so i do quite like a butterfly oh i've got some die cut butterflies if i can get hold of them now i think that blends in a little bit too too much which is surprising you think that one would blend in more or i've got some stamps quite like the stamps as well so what i think i'm going to do is i'm gonna run some of this down the middle so this is called um burlap I don't know if it's burlap, wet, wet, web. Um, again, it is on my Amazon favourites link. So I'm thinking that there, that there. Um, I think it's missing something. I haven't got any blue um, lace, but I do have some blue ribbon so I'm wondering if something like that okay let me get my mat out because I'm well and truly <laughs> in it now um, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it on with all these things right give me a second okay so I'm going to stick this down like so and then I'm gonna just go along here so this is just three mil uh, ribbon so I use a lot of 
that in uh, doing my dream catcher DIY kits in my other shop. So that's that. Then I have inked everything apart from the butterflies because I just couldn't bear sitting inking, you know, 20 odd butterflies. And I thought I'm not going to use every single one. So I thought it was a bit a bit of a waste of time and say so i've i think it's about two o'clock i started about 10 o'clock um so it's took me all this time to get get prepared so that's that i quite like that so i'm gonna put that there let's say um i don't know if it needs like a, a tiny butterfly oh i like that i'm thinking three butterflies you know that's quite extravagant for me but oh i really do like that <laughs> i'm gonna go for it um yeah i don't normally like things all come together but that looks really nice um yeah if you don't know like i do love green and brown they are my favorite colors but <clears throat> i love purple and blue as well i don't tend to work with any other colors than <laughs> those four really um apart from when you know i'm doing the mass maids with the bow bonnie and stuff but <clears throat> i just don't feel as as comfortable with that um yeah and it's it's funny not ha ha funny <laughs> just just weird right and that can go there so that is number two piece so okay lovely and let's do this other little one so this one i did just think i'm gonna put um I wonder about a stamp actually. I quite like that. So I have got some blue inks out. So I've got the Memento, Summer Sky, and <laughs> the Danibu <laughs> Blue. Anybody who watched my uh, winter um, series <coughs> will probably giggle about that. I did struggle with saying Danibu <laughs> Blue. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I suppose it was only funny if, if he was there. Anyway, right, so I'm just going to just do some. Cow. Let's do that on the other side. Oh, well, that's nice. Okay, we get a one before we go any further. So I'll just ink around the stump. Don't think I'm going to put anything behind it. I think I'll just stick it, stick it down. I'll tell you what I have got. Um, I've got some tea bags out. So just a rip down just a rip down that edge so i hope everybody is okay i can say i feel pretty good today um it's been a while since i felt pretty good um i know that i'm not back to uh tip top but um yeah i'm feeling <coughs> a lot more better um but I need to make sure that I still keep resting and getting, you know, early nights and stuff. So after I've done this and I've done the other three sets, that will be me for for today. Because like I say, I have been in here since about 10 o'clock. But I was excited to get these done because I'm really liking working with blue again. So that's that one quite a simple little piece 
Right, let's um, get rid of those, put that back in. What shall we do next? So we've got this piece. Originally I was thinking of putting um, something on it and cutting it out as a stamp but I don't think I did cut anything out as small as that so I'm going to leave that there for now so we've got this little pocket here so I'll get this glued up Yeah, this rust paper is absolutely beautiful I think I'm going to be using um, that on the back backs of things I think it could be my new favourite because I've been using the lace um, paper from um, Ali the Cockney Crafter and I've used that for months and months and it's been my absolute favourite but yeah I'm loving that so it's nice to have a little change so I could either go butterfly don't want to stamp the die cuts are too big again I don't think I've got any small small pieces um, let's have a look in these birds because I know I've got some tiny ones um, from Taylor Made Journals because her kit is one of those oh, I like that where um, is it a JPEG I, I am you know really ignorant with things but um, yeah I can they're all separate files so I can do like nine on a page um, which makes them a lot more smaller so it's nice that you you know I either print four to a page or nine to a page um, and they're kind of the good good size for me so oh, I did need to go downstairs and turn that heating off absolutely boiling right um, let's fussy cut around this a little bit more so I think I'm going to go with this bird I don't know what else I'm going to put with it go there I'm gonna pause I'm gonna turn the heating off right I'm back it'll probably take a little while for it to cool down um so I've got a little doily perhaps a corner of <laughs> I've dropped the bed <laughs> perhaps a corner of that would be be nice I wonder about just having it in that corner actually. Yeah, I quite like that. So just gonna glue down here. That on just leave it <laughs> for a little while to dry and then I'll cut it cut it off um right what can I do with this because it looks a little bit lost so that's a number from Tina don't think that's right what about just a little bit of collage behind it so this is some straw paper from Julie's shop at Camellia Crafts Camilla, 
Camellia. Yeah, Camellia. Sorry, Julia, I always get your shop name wrong. So maybe that. Um, I'm going to put a book page. So maybe... Sorry if I keep going off screen a little bit. Oh, it's felt an active week this week with Ryan being off and Alna doing schoolwork and Ryan had originally booked this week off to do decorating. Um, those of you who's been with me since um started last March, um, he dug a pond out the year before um, and then this year he filled it. Uh, my mum had had some... Well, she wanted her decking taken up, so Ryan took it up and he's put it um, like at the side of the pond. So we got all that done. Um, we had a bit of trouble with pumps and things like that. I think he bought one and um, it really wasn't big enough for for the ridiculous pond that is dug in the garden. Once it's done, I will take a video. Um, it's half the size of my garden. I haven't got an, an enormous garden, but um, yeah, half the size. So anyway, he's going to want to get that done this summer. Um, so he'd bought a week off to finish decorating because at the beginning of lockdown, um, he was off for a couple of weeks. That's all he's been off. And... Um, it started decorating the house, um, just painting. We've we've really gone grey all the way through, um, and yeah, he's had this week off to to finish off. I like that. And um, yeah, obviously Alan's here doing schoolwork nine till three, so I stay upstairs so she can, you know, I've downstairs, but. Yeah, he's been wanting to decorate and stuff and when he's in the dog wants to be with him and Yeah, I just feel like it's been I mean it hasn't been hectic, but I feel like it's been hectic Um, after Rennie it's a good clean because the Dog's been in and out And um yeah, there's blobs of paint on the floor and not everywhere, you know, on any odd, odd one, but um, yeah, I just can't stand it. So I will be so glad when he goes back to work on Monday. Because um, it's hard enough being in constantly with, with Eleanor. Um, but... Yeah, the house just feels really small when, when everyone's in. So yeah, I like that. That's that one. So we've got four pieces. So yes, it's been nice to get back to a bit of normality. But yeah, I mean, I think Alan's going to be off till, oh, I don't know. I think they said about March. So this is the index card so I was going to put a nice big bird on on this and do oh I love that to a bit of collage oh that that goes lovely with that rust I think I'm going to go with with that one So yeah, it's just quite off-putting because, you know, obviously I've I've got two Etsy shops and YouTube, um, so I just feel a little bit distracted when I know people are in, and obviously you go mum mode, don't you? Does everybody want feeding? Has everybody got a drink? Is everybody all right? What's up with everybody? Do you need entertaining? Um, and it's it's exhausting <laughs> absolutely exhausting right that looks nice not like it didn't before but <clears throat> it did just need a little bit of toning down so 
I don't want to totally cover the whole, I mean, to me, I think that looks beautiful um, on its own. So let's get some, I don't know if to go across ways or if to just go more like that because I don't really want to cover that up. So let's... I think that that needs to be <clears throat> a little bit thinner. Yeah, I like that. Then it needs something, something else. Right. Vintage receipts from Lorna at Taylor Made Journals. Again, I do think that needs to be a little bit thinner. Don't want to come too, too far out. Let's just see what I can sign more. No, I don't mind that. Right, I'm going to start by putting that piece down because <clears throat> I think that's just right for that. Should have really got the glue stick out, but I'm not sewing these and because uh, I'm going to put them in the shop. I think they're better done. Done with art glitter bit more reliable along longer term oh I wish I didn't like doing you know but I do Yeah, I know that was an odd way to put it. <laughs> As I was putting it down, I thought, oh, actually, I wanted that receipt underneath it. I think that'll catch it. with just a blue label let me have a look in my labels at the side of me I'm not bringing them onto the table because I think I probably have enough things on there in fact I am gonna so I might as well get a few out because then it will save me keep Keep looking. They're from Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. 
And the other one is from Tracy Fox. And that's black. That's a good colour. Haha, <laughs> I thought you were scanning away. <laughs> it was really hiding that one. Yeah, so much for Oh, I'm organised. I've got everything. You can never have everything, can you? It's bluish. Nearly there. Maybe greyish. Blue. Oh, I bet you could see that, but you're saying this one there, she's missed it. Is that a blue one? Not too bad to say that my eyes are rubbish. I've got my better glasses on. Have I? Yeah. There's a couple of blue ones here. Oh, this is where all the blue's hanging out, look. Or two of them. Right, we've got some anyway. So that can go there. So I'm going to stick that down because I do like the, the positioning of it there. Right, so they're too big for those. Too big. Oh, I like that one. Right, that's got a little bit of too bad. We're getting some um, dyed cheesecloth. Um, I did look at splatter ink, but um, I did get a blue one actually um, today. Ordered it, but um, yeah, I could do with a like a tea stain one. I'm guessing she sells them as soon as they get in the shop. Because I don't actually own any cheesecloth anyway. I've got a bit of that gauze stuff, but I think the holes are a bit too gappy on it, really. Right, I'm fine with that. So that's that one. So we've done one, two, three. Oh, I've done five pieces. Not doing bad. So that's going to be uh, Upways one. Okay. I think I like it that way. Um, I think I could do with putting a floral on here. So I put some stickers out. So I don't know if to just do a little bit of a. Yeah, I'm liking that. So I want to keep with the same kinds of. Um, you know papers because I just think if you're using them in the same project you've just got you know there's a bit of a running theme I'm not very good with random 
Um, I think that's why I enjoyed doing the colour challenges as well because it was like, oh, everything's in the same colour. I can cope with that. Um, yeah, my, I don't know if it's my eyes or my brain, but I just can't. Um, it, it's too much, too much information in going on. And say so that that is another part of uh, fibro. I get like the making sense part of things, but I've always liked things matchy matchy anyway. I mean, I was, you know, when I was young, free, and single many, many moons ago, um, you know, I would match my shoes to my handbag and you know the blouse I was wearing the jewellery I was wearing um, you know it'd take me all week to, to plan my outfit out what a waste of time you know when you I mean it was fun don't get me wrong <laughs> but when you think about it now it's like oh could you be bothered? <laughs> but it's fun, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? When I do miss like dancing. I used to love dancing. Drunk dancing, not not professional dancing. It's a shame that's just a little bit too too big. Ooh, look at him. Let's just ink, ink that up. I'm just doing it on, on a piece of paper, really. Yeah, I like that. It's weird how you, you just move something, um, you know, just the tiniest bit um, and before it didn't look right and then you just move it and it's like, yeah, that that's it. It's, um, it's weird. I'm, um, I mean, and I don't know if that's just... I'm finding it pleasant, um, you know, visually, or if it is actually. But I think it is because when I watch other people and and you go, yeah, that's just right, and then they say, yeah, that's just right, and so it, it definitely is a thing. But how weird that you know, just moving something a little bit just changes it from a no to a yes. No, it's very funny. Right. Let's just put a little bit of glue down there. I cut that um yeah I did. I was still thinking about that um doily. Yeah, like that. So we're doing well. Right, so what have we got left? So we've got this left. Um I think I'll do the same, get some um, thing in my jiggy and let's just get this paper so we'll go down a boot I don't 
know why I inked it all the way along there. Oh, that yeah, saved me. <laughs> saved me time, I suppose. Now, I never know which way to put these. And I think I prefer them that way. Um, because if you're using them like slipped in a pocket and, and what have you. What have you? <laughs> um, you can use that, you know, to, to pull it up. So, but I suppose if the inner roller decks, they are that way, aren't they? But I, I think it probably is just a personal uh, preference because I've seen them either way. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know which is the rule of, of roller decks. <laughs> rule of roller decks. So I think I'm going to do something like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, let's sync that up. What kind of time are we on? 41. How many pieces have I got there? Oh, I've only got two pieces. I, I have done pretty well. Because I think there was 10 pieces <coughs> all together. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, I didn't even look to see if I was doing that, did I? Um, I think I'm going to put it on some tea bag. <laughs> Like it on the tea bag. <coughs> Not surprising. Just gonna have it in there, I think. Let's just pop it up there. Wonder if just to <coughs> like just to put a strip, a strip of ribbon, just down the side. I don't think so. <laughs> no. Right, that's that's fine. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We must have a missing piece. Hmm, let me think about this. You know what it was, it was that little piece. So I found this little sticker. A lovely little tip there. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if to put a little bit of. Yeah. So then that can be attached to, to anything. Whoever's using the piece. Do want it that way or that way? Oh, might have it that way because thinking about it you could make a belly band and have that in the middle or it could be some kind of closure um on an envelope or something like that um so if this was on a bigger scale it could be something like that where you took the envelope up so yeah handy little bit of piece <laughs> little bit of, oh dear little piece of card I'm just gonna dab it with some some ink. So that's that. I'm gonna put those in the um, sets as well. I'm trying. I'm gonna want to try and make them like fifteen piece um, sets. So I'm gonna do the tag last. Let's have a look at this. Now, I did get the die cuts out for uh, doing this because um, I did these in the woodland. No, it was in the Christmas one, wasn't it? So I think I'm going to just stamp all around the edges. <coughs> Let's 
to give it some interest. I haven't made a tag a journal card or anything for this and the journal card that <coughs> I've made doesn't fit in it. So that's that. Not use that summer snack. If I remember right, I don't think um <coughs> it stamps very well. No, it was the grey that didn't stamp very well. Right, what have I just done with that die cut? That's there. Um I've I've got some pale blue ones out and some navy. Like those two colours together. Like so. And I don't know if to... I think I'm gonna have that in in the back. So <coughs> I'm gonna start by just putting a thin bead here. Have I got it the right way around? Yes. And gonna lay that over it it is a little bit too tall so I will cut that off at the end so that's that and I'm gonna put this one on so I'll put a bit there So I'm sorry this video is quite long. Um, I did wonder if to break it up in two parts, but I didn't. I don't know, like, you'll have to tell me, are these videos too long that I do? Because mine do tend to be like 45 minutes. Um, but I just feel like... You know, I, I've not come on just decorating one one tag. Um, like I do do quite a lot, so I don't know if it's too much. Um, so let me know, because obviously, it I work slower on camera than than I would, um, on my own. So if they are too long, then I could just pop it on. You know, half an hour. And then turn it off and, and get on. So you'll have to let me know. I'm going to say I prefer doing the long ones because I think if you're working on something, you can work alongside me. Or if you, you know you want to see full projects, um, then they do take time. I mean, you'll know yourself when, when you're crafting. Time just flies. You think, wow, when I was gone and I've made one thing. <laughs> right, so that's that's lovely. Um don't know if to put a little bit of something on. Do want something there? Do you want it there? Do you want a butterfly? Could do. Yeah, quite like that. Where's that netting gone? <clears throat> did I cut some off and not use it? Or did I cut some off and use it? Like, oh, I did use it, didn't I? I used it up those um, circles. I'm put that on there. Let's ink around there. So I will print this kit out again and do some some other bits. Because uh, I could do doing probably another tag. Um, bigger envelope and some more pockets hopefully that will grab so that's that one and this one um i was i printed some of these out from my porch prints the blue um set so i was gonna put something like that on Oh, I like that. I 
I like it. I just think it's a little bit too small. Right. I think that one, but I did want it a little bit thinner. Um, so I'm going to pause just to save a little bit of time. Okay, I've cut it smaller. My idea was to <coughs> um, have this corrugated card. I have bought this um, from eBay. Um, I think it was a pack of 10. It was quite expensive, but yeah, I love that. Um, so I was thinking that, um, and I don't know if to put a word on it at the bottom. Yeah, it's straight. It's funny because when you put it on the tag, it doesn't look straight. And the tag's straight. Anyway, so I've got some words and I can't remember where these are from. Um, I can never remember where words are from. So... Mum of Emma. Okay, I think just breathe. <clears throat> Very important, just breathe. And so, um, when you get all panicked and stuff, it's very important to remember to, to keep breathing. Nice deep breath, it, it does calm you. I had quite a bad time of sleeping. I still have the odd night um, and I put on some meditation um, and to settle, settle my breathing um, and it does, it does calm you. So yeah, just, just breathe. And it's funny when when you're panicked and that you do forget to breathe. It's um, sometimes I'm holding my breath and I, you know, I don't realise until I can't breathe. It's very very strange. So I'm just gonna ink around this. Go around here again because obviously I've just cut it and I'm just gonna give it a bit of a <coughs> rub over. I think I've printed that on white, yeah. Um, normally I would have printed it on cream, but um, I hardly use white, um, so I'm trying to use up my white card because I'm not gonna bother buying uh, white again, I don't think. Till I need it, <laughs> till I realise I want it. Right, so I'm going to put that there. I don't know if I just want a really small layer behind it yeah I like that so let's get that down first don't know how easy this is going to be to uh, stick to especially as this is quite thin thin paper Just going up a little bit. Yeah, no problem. It's it's flatter than what it actually looks, but it, it get, but it's really corrugated as well. Um, I have got 
a drawer of corrugated card which I'd saved when I was doing the woodland and it's fine um, but I don't know why I just think of that as being more autumn winter I don't know I think the colours are a little bit darker I think that's what it is and it's a bit chunkier so it more reminds me of winter And I'm thinking that there, I do I want something behind that. that will then go there do I want anything behind this see some cheesecloth would have been nice wouldn't it but cut out what you've not got can you <laughs> just can't um maybe just a little bit of doily peeking peeking out Yeah, I do like that. So if I do it there, then I'm thinking if I cut that bit off, like so, I can probably have this then at the bottom like there-ish yes yeah I like that okay so let's get some that so that would go about there I can't remember how I had this is it not? it must have been like that yeah so I need to go like ish it's a bit hard to Let's place uh, that there. Get that bit there. I'm not like it matters because that'll be on top of it anyway. Right. Don't know if I should have gone for um, three and one on this bit.
Oh, I like that. Yeah, I do like that. Now, I'd got these out. I think these are from, um, is it the William Morris? I don't think it is that. But it's that kind of... Um, Oh, I forget. Um, Violet did me them. She'd got the paper pad and I did some um, different collage um, folio things with them. So I don't know if to do that. But I then think it's perhaps too, too blue. Um, but I haven't got any... Ones. I've only got two, which I obviously need four. Um, I've, I've got the finger ones. Oh yeah, I like that. I didn't think that would would go, but yeah. Shall ink that round. Ink, ink, glue. I am now gluing. So <clears throat> we'll pop that on on here, like so. I think that should be straight. Let me just check the the back. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll pop that down there. So I think that's yeah, that's fine. So that's that one. Right, I'll tidy a bit of this up and then we shall have a look what we've made. So we've got this tag, we've got the CD uh, pocket or flip, got the little note card, little, little bitty thing there. Oh, actually. Oh, where? Uh, nah, yeah, weird. But yeah, that can go. That can go in there or not. Like, whatever. Right. Um. To pierce there. Index card. Little belly band. Yeah. Index card. Um. Yeah, I forget what they're called. And a journal card. So I think we've we've done well in an hour. Two well yeah, ten pieces. Oof. <laughs> so I'm gonna get on and do the other ones. I bet you it only takes me an hour to do all three of those, but I will do them, you know, I will do three of those, three of those. I'll probably do the things with the stamping first. Um that just save save time but otherwise i would have had to keep pausing and things so yeah i'm really happy with those um so like i say i'm gonna save one kit for myself because i've got some beautiful blue fabric um so i would like to start saving some blue things um and when i get around to doing a journal i will have all these beautiful Pieces. and these are exactly um, the kind of papers that I wanted to use, use in it so I shall be making some more pieces so like I say I will put the link to uh, the kits that I've used from Marie Shop who is after Midnight Designs um, and that's it so bye for now thanks a lot for joining me I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon bye for now